I've never talked to Ray about. I've, I've since gotten to know Ray pretty good over the last couple of years, and we've done right. some things together, and I've got he's a neat guy. Right. I did not know how he was to drive for. I felt like that he came in with a bunch of ex- – he was very excited, thrilled about this opportunity to just start this brand-new team and, and be the guy for a manufacturer, which was Dodge. Right. Gets his thing going, wins some races, has some success. And then I feel like that he – fell out of love with that right do you think that he's kind of fallen out of love you know the idea of being a championship car owner in the cup series i wouldn't say falling out of love but kind of kind of that but it, it just seemed like he um you know I, I know that when we first started that deal like when i first went over there ray always had in the back of his mind that he would never be a penske or or a ever i mean or a hendrick yeah motorsports you know what do you I, mean well, I, I couldn't get that because I'm sitting there looking at all of our stuff. We had we had the best of everything, you know, two big shops, you know, three at the end. Yeah, had everything you want, you know. And I never, and he'd always keep it in the back of his mind, like, well, but Hendrick's got this, and you know, penske has got that. You he know, he felt like he was never going to measure up. Right, and that's why I felt like, you know, from what I understood, you yeah. know, just yeah, all the time, you know. And I'm like, I didn't see it that way. I don't think anybody ever seen it that way because we had a good deal going on, you know. But he'd always had that, you know. That's just the way Ray is too. He wants to be the best, but he. he he also realizes that what it takes to be the best, you know, to get there. And, uh, you know, Aaron thing and whatever happened on that day, I'm not sure if it had anything to do with it, but it just seemed like all of a sudden it just went downhill and don't know why, you know, so, understand why, you know. Yeah, help me understand that there were two cars, you and Bill still driving, right? Right. Or yeah. no, Bill is now in a third car. Right. A test car. Yeah, Casey but, went away and then, and then Bill started in that car, you know, went back to that car after Casey Kane came on. Casey Kane, yeah. Casey Kane and you are teammates. Mm-hmm. Bill's showing up running a limited schedule right right and it's not a full-time no they're gonna give casey your team right and you're gonna get the 91 test team right i'm, go, I'm going to the bills deal that he was running what's you know, happening to much. casey's guys that just uh, gonna go away yeah they kind of i don't know if they went away or just yeah but that but you, you know. knew this test team was a shell of what a cup you know legitimate cup contender needed to be right and you were like this is bs right uh, yeah pretty much and and you know, because I watched Bill run bad in it. Bill went from winning races in a nine car, running great, you know. And I knew it wasn't Bill Elliott. Yeah. You know, he he's, does a good, good job, you know. And Casey uh, didn't struggle, but he wasn't – you know, we were running a little bit better than he was at the time and, and gaining on it every Who's week. Who's your you know? crew chief? Well, I had a couple. Kenny Francis was, was one of them. And yeah. um, we had several over there. We switch up quite a bit, you know, move stuff around. But uh, Kenny was with Bill when he was running good. Kenny came to us when we were running good. Tommy Baldwin came a part of Casey's deal. And then – Tommy went away and yeah, and then they just switched. Teams they're going to give Ka- they're going to give Kenny to Casey, right? W- which was a good combination. They did great together, you know. But it was all of our stuff that on the nineteen that we had, you know. Yeah. So then I went to the ninety one or whatever number it was at the time, and and uh, didn't run good, you know, just bad. run bad, yeah, real bad. Yeah. Then you make the comments about you know I don't I can't tell right. you what Ray thinks because I don't see him, and right. all that blows up. In well, your- well, and and one reason why that happened was because. When my team went away, okay, they're over here with Casey's deal, you know, and we're in the same shop, but I'm willing to do whatever I got to do to build this team back up or whatever we got to do to make it work, you know. And I just wasn't seeing Ray, you know. Right. Ray used to be on top of all that stuff, you know. He wouldn't let it happen. Yeah. And uh, if the nine was running bad, he'd be on the nine box. You know, if the 19, would, he'd be back and forth trying to help both our deals, you yeah. know. And all of a sudden, I'm with the 91. Now I'm sitting over going, man, you know. I ain't getting no help. Yeah, where'd he go, you know. Well, yeah. And I, and I kind of knew – what a lot of people were thinking, you know, and I kind of knew what was going on. Mm-hmm. I didn't say nothing, you know, but I knew that if we got new motors coming out and, and I'm running the old ones and, and my new one, I should have got over here in the ARCA car. You know what I mean? That makes yeah. you mad. That's you know right. what I mean? Cause, oh, yeah. Because Everham uh, Racing was actually fielding that car right. in ARCA, right? Right. So exactly. Aaron was driving an Everham car. Yeah, she was our That's right. developmental driver. That's right. And so she's getting new motors. <laughs> <laughs> right, you know, and, and getting a lot more attention than what, you know, as far as the team itself. Yeah. You know, they were getting a lot of stuff to make sure she ran good, you know. Yeah. So so you – help me understand what happens. Y'all, you're you're going to get fired in the middle of the year? Yeah, I, I wasn't planning on it, but here's something else that happened that – I was going to tell you the deal. And, and, sure. Uh, I made a big mistake. Something about a picture. Yeah, I made a huge mistake. And uh, Now, listen, I know what you're <laughs> getting – I know the story you're getting ready to tell, and I want to help you out. So <laughs> – you made this picture of Ray's wife with you. The, the end of the year. Yeah. Right, when, There's a, when, when they're going to give all our stuff to Casey the next year, right? In the So this switch is happening in the off season. Right. All right? Right. Yes. All right. And we go to the banquet. 
in New York. Yep. And I love Mary to death. You know, Mary was Ray's wife. We're in the limo. She, we got the cameras out. You know, this camera. She's, oh, take one of me. You know, I took a picture of her. And uh, she said, "Will you blow that up for me?" And it's just, just her, just you her. and her. No, we're all together. We're all, in, we're all together. Who's we're, we're all? Me, Ray, and everybody's around each other. All yeah. of you are in the yeah, f- we're, picture. Yeah, no, no, she's just in the picture. We're by so, herself. They're all yeah. in the limo. They're all in the limo together. Yeah. And she tells me, hey, "Take a picture." So I took a picture of her. Boom, you know, like that. And she said, "Blow it up for me," and and give it to Ray during the Christmas party, which was a couple weeks later. I said, really? She said, yeah. Was so I, was it a good picture? Yeah, great picture. Great you know, picture. Great picture. You took a hell of a sp- hell of a picture. Yeah, I took a hell of a Yeah, I took a hell of a picture. <laughs> so, so I blew it up and did what she said to do, right? Blew it up. It was about, I don't know, it was probably about that big. And framed it. And framed it. And I thought, man, she's going to be excited. He's going to be excited getting this. Well, I didn't know what they knew at that time. She yeah. knew it? Obviously. You know. And, she and, set your ass, set you up. Yeah. You think? I think just to get at him, but to. Not not to set me up personally, but just to, I guess, make something yeah. happen. So we go to the Christmas party, and she's not there. And it's only a couple of weeks ago before that, you know. <laughs> I got my big picture, you know, and, I, and I, we're all talking during a little speech. And I walk up on stage, and Ray, I said, Ray, I got something for you. In front of everybody. Oh. In front of everybody. And he owns up this picture of Mary smiling. A great picture of her, you know. And I thought it was weird she wasn't there anyway. Did he smile? Sort of, but not really. You know, it just kind of like, awkward. Okay, yeah, awkward. And I and I felt awkward after I gave it to him. Why know? did it not ring? Why did it not dawn on you? Because I didn't know that they weren't together. Yeah, but damn, why you know? would you give him a picture of his wife? <laughs> what the <laughs> hell? That's the weirdest thing to give somebody. Even if she said to <laughs> she, do owned, it. she owned my car at the time. She was the car owner. Oh my gosh! You I would have still been like, man, I just don't feel comfortable. Well, I, I didn't. I really didn't. You know, but but you could ask some questions. <laughs> <laughs> it seems you like to me a, there's a follow up. Right, right. Right. It seems like to me that you might have been like okay with this if it pissed right. him off, right? Um, Part of you was like, you know what? If this is what I think it is, oh, so oh, be it. Yeah, because I was kind of pissed too. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah, right? yeah, right. You're, you're probably right about that a little bit. So I thought, well, but I still didn't know for sure. Right. You know, I thought it was weird why she wouldn't give it to me, but but I wasn't afraid to piss him off either. You know, so I went, hey, here's, you know, look at this, you know, and, and he acted weird. And and then um, I went to drive for my new team, you know, the, the new the team he had for boys. me. Yeah, yeah, the 91 yeah. guys. And uh, it didn't work out very good. And then um, I was at Pocono and, and Aaron came over early in the deal. And he said, you, will you help her around Pocono? You know, sure. She comes to my motor home. Hey, Aaron, well, yeah, what are you doing? I'll, I said, well, I'll just tell you. I'll make a lap around her in my head and tell you how I do it, where I downshift and stuff. And I started telling her. She said, well, really? Going into one of you downshift there? This, that, and I said, yeah. She said, well, Ray said to downshift here way after you got in the corner. You know, I said, well, some people do, you know, but we all kind of knew that they're getting a great guy. I'm not saying anybody, but he would he would be involved in some of our conversations about driving me and Casey and Bill and all of us, you mm-hmm. know. Some stuff you just leave, like like your dad, talking about the setups and all that, you just took it upon, you know, he took it and that's what went on with it. Yeah. And I said, well, Aaron, sometimes you got to, if he says anything, you got to use your own judgment and just, if you feel comfortable shifting in wherever, do it there. You know, she said, what are you saying? That I shouldn't listen to Ray? <laughs> and I said, uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking, but, but there again, I didn't know what they knew, you know what I mean? So I'm like, well, me and Casey, you know, Bill, we kind of, you kind of take things in. So I shouldn't listen to Ray? Um, not all the time. I said maybe sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. You just make it on. Hmm. And I seen this look on her face, and I think, but now nah, he's he's a great one to listen to. You know, just <laughs> back it up. <laughs> well, I didn't realize it when when at that point in time, what was going on. You yeah. know what I mean? So then, and <laughs> she leaves the motor home, obviously. And when you go back and tell Ray anything like that, oh, you know, yeah. especially if you're real close to him, closer than I knew they were yeah. close. Red Jeremy said, "Not listen to you. You know, you should, I shouldn't listen to you. I, I could imagine that conversation. You know, yeah, there's sure. no context that makes that uh, appropriate no. or you know well received. Right, especially if they're closer than I thought they were. You know, yeah. And uh, just knowing Ray, you know, so that happened. The picture happened, and then the media happened. And at that point in time, it was, I mean, you had pushed a lot of buttons. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and 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 put him on the, the Chicago Tribune, whatever yeah. it was, the full page picture. Of him, you know, and <laughs> and." Uh, and I hate it. I really do because I really didn't – wasn't intended on none of that. I was just kind of upset at the time and then, you know, at a certain time, not at Aaron, but I knew after the fact when it all went down, I was like, well, that's probably one of the 
things that pissed him off really good. You know, I'm sure you like that conversation with Jeremy Mayfield. We ought to listen to the entire podcast. The whole interview is available on all major podcast platforms. 